Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles review of the as seen on TV product, Bake a Bone. It's the original dog treat maker. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And if you want to support my videos, uh, my content, go to patreon.com slash nine malls or just go to Patreon and search nine malls. And that's the number nine, M-A-L-L-S dot com. And uh, so on to the review here. I'm actually excited to try this out. I think my dog will like this. It's the original treat maker, healthy mouth-watering treats in minutes, all natural, preservative-free, organic and gluten-free recipes. You can make peanut butter bones, minty bones, bacon bones, even ice bones. Over 30 recipes inside, free and uh, free inside, organic and gluten-free. So your dog is gonna be eating really healthy. So if your dog has allergies or anything like that, um, this is kind of the product for your dog, or just you just want your dog to eat better. All right, so it's a really cool idea. I'm um, actually surprised this is an as seen on TV product. It's a pretty awesome idea. And that's kind of cool. It's kind of a metallic, I don't know if this plastic, maybe uh, just coated metal on the outside. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, and then you have your molds inside, and it's kind of just like a lot of Asian on TV products where they have this kind of griddle and they have different shapes. Whether you're making, uh, you know, I have a previous video where I'm making popsicles in the shape of uh, cake, and uh, this is kind of the same thing where it just has shapes. And this time, you're making dog bones. So I like the shape of the actual machine, it's kind of cool, it's in the shape of a dog bone. Um, but yeah, let's try it out. So you have your user manual here, and let's just kind of read it um, just a little bit briefly. Uh, do not touch hot surface, blah, 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 pretty basic. Okay, so let's just do a simple recipe. I'm gonna start out kind of with that and take it from there. So if my dog likes a simple recipe, then I might get a little bit more advanced. I mean, I think the bacon would honestly be something that my dog would love. But um, let's just start out with the uh, simple one. Um, let's see. So the first recipe. So you got two cups whole wheat flour, uh, one tablespoon baking powder, one cup peanut butter, and one and one half cup milk. Place the bacon bone when the green light comes on and it's ready to bake. Or plug in bake a bone when the green light comes on it's ready to bake. Mix all ingredients together in a bowl until the mixture is like paste. Using the silicone spatula, transfer the batter into each lower bo bone mold. Fill the uh, mold completely in approximately one eighth inch above the mold or above each mold sidewall. Close unit and bake for 10 minutes. Cool on a rack for 30 minutes. Store in an airtight container. All right, so I'm gonna mix that up. And uh, next scene will be me putting the batter into the, the baker bone. So while this warms up, I just wanna give you a breakdown of what I put in my recipe. I kind of uh, went a little uh, different than what the recipe book had said. It said two cups whole wheat flour. I put one cup just regular all-purpose flour and one cup whole wheat. And it said one tablespoon baking powder. I did that. It said one cup uh, peanut butter. I put in a half a cup chunky peanut butter. And then it said one and one half cup milk. I just put in water. And I also put in about a tablespoon of brown sugar. So uh, just to make it edible for me because <laughs> I want to try one of these things. All right, so I'm gonna just wait till this green light comes on and then once that happens, then I'll put the mixture in the machine. It took about five minutes to heat up, but I'm gonna put the mixture and it should be a kind of the consistency of paste, it says, so. And I'm gonna to try to overfill it by one eighth of an inch, like it said. Um, it's kind of hard. Maybe it needs more water, but it's kind of hard to fit this into the mold. But it is kind of like a paste, so I think I think it's right. Maybe it'll kind of settle in there. I don't know. Or I could just overfill it by a little bit and see if that helps. 
But I'm gonna add some more water there so I can get this a little bit more runny so it kind of just flows in to the mold. Okay, so I'm gonna try that first off and just let it cook. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna open up the uh, bacon bone and that's what they look like. So they came out decent. I watered down the, uh, the batter and it's gonna pour a little bit easier. So I'll show you that. Um, I'm gonna take those out, just let them cool before I serve them to me and my dog. So I made it kind of more like, you know, the consistency of pancake batter. Um, it's not, I guess not quite to that level, but a little bit more so. Um, it's kind of a tricky mold to fill. I think with practice, you'd get the hang of, you know, the size or, you know, how much this, this mold can handle and kind of the size of spoon you want to use. Um, but, you know, for the most part, it kind of just settles in the mold and you should be fine. And if you if not, it's, it's okay too. I don't think your dog's going to care. All right, so I'm just going to show you uh, one more round and of this uh, baking. So that's going to go, most recipes take five to ten minutes. This is trial number two. So with a little thinner batter, let's open it up. And I like the texture of these bones a lot better. They look a lot kind of smoother, more like the dog bones you get in the store. So I, I like that. Okay, here she is. I'm going to feed her this dog bone. And this is one that cooled down. Let's see if she likes it. And she's eating it. What do you know? She likes it. All right, so I'm gonna try one from the newer batch and see how it tastes. Here we go. Yeah, it actually tastes good. Um, that little extra brown sugar really made it taste a lot better. So yeah, it's actually edible. Actually, not too bad. All right, so do I recommend the Baker Bone? The answer is definitely yes. This is a really fun product. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy this. It's, I mean, I, I like how it's shaped like a dog bone. It's relatively high quality for an Asking on TV product. And uh, I think it's a, something that you're, you actually will enjoy and use. So, especially if you have a dog, um, you know, if you don't want to feed them, which, you know, in the store, you don't really know what's in it. With this, you know exactly what's in it and I think your dog will actually thank you for it. So, I do recommend the Asking on TV Bank of Bone. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, please subscribe. And if you want to support them, go to patreon.com slash 9malls. All right, thanks for watching.